The Las Vegas Raiders have a new starting right tackle, and that is Jermaine Illuminor. And today, we're going to look into his tape. One of the crazy things with this game is, if you don't know number 90 for the Patriots, that's one of the best defensive tackles in the league. His name's Christian Barmore. If you don't know number 9 for the Patriots, that's Matthew Judon. Most people agree he's a top 10 to 15 pass rusher. What I'm saying is the New England Patriots had their starting defensive line in. So how did Jermaine Illuminor do against them? Let's get right into it. We're going to get into this next play. This is a pass set in which Jermaine Illuminor is going to set in a 45 degree set. He does a good job getting out of his hands. Matthew Judon is going to punch Illuminor in the chest. Illuminor has his right hand. He puts it inside with the left hand on the outside. And he's in a good position to win the rep. Not a whole lot. It was a quick throw regardless. But either way, it's a nice job. Uh, you know, it's not a losing rep. And at this point, when your right tackle is not getting his ass kicked, especially with what the Raiders have had so far, uh, this is a good rep. Now, I do think Illuminor is the starting right tackle for the Raiders. And I'll show you guys why in just a couple, in just a couple of reps. Because the guy looks really good. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. All right, you guys, jumping forward into the next rep, you know, I think while watching the game live, the broadcast crew pointed this play out and said Jermaine Illuminor did a bad job. Uh, his guy made the play, and technically, I guess, Judon did make the play. Uh, this is an outside zone concept, and I think Jermaine Illuminor did a pretty solid job initially. Here's the thing with the outside zone, right? You got all these guys who are going to basically go to the outside. Uh, Andre James is going to get out here. John Simpson is going to get out here. And the running back is going to start this play to the outside. And from there, he's going to basically pick one of these gaps. Uh, one of the interesting things, if you guys watch Jermaine Illuminor, is he's going to get wide and he almost hooks Judon at some point. In my opinion, if the running back did continue this to the outside, he would have been in a one-on-one -on -one situation with this safety. And that would have been because of the fact that Illuminor does a pretty solid job hooking Matthew Judon. Now, again, we don't know the play call. We don't know exactly how this is being taught. So we don't know if Jermaine Illuminor is supposed to hook his guy, but it does look like that's kind of what he does, right? He's going to make contact with Judon at the point of attack and then watch his feet. He's going to side shuffle his feet and he's going to basically get around Matthew Judon, right? He's going to take those quick choppy steps to his right. From this point, if you watch his feet, he's going to basically swing his hips around. And it almost makes you feel like this should have been an outside run. Either way, it's an okay run. The running back still picks up about five yards. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Now, I do want to uh, pass off a quick disclaimer really quickly. You know, there are plays we are going to skip. Plays like this in which Jermaine Illuminor or any offensive lineman really doesn't do anything right because you have a double team. So his block doesn't really matter in this instance. Again, we do skip these type of plays. So that is just a quick disclaimer that I want to go ahead and throw in there. But let's go ahead and get into the next rep. All right, you guys, jumping into this next snap. This is a really nice snap in terms of it's a true pass set. We're going to have Jermaine Illuminor against Matthew Judon. True pass set. Judon doesn't necessarily get to the quarterback in terms of sack. But I will say that this is not that good of a rep by Illuminor. Uh, first and foremost, he does do a good job getting out of his stance, getting vertical. Uh, but his right hand almost turns, as in he's not trying to punch. He's more so of trying to catch, right? There's the right hand. If you guys really pay close attention to it, you guys can see that it kind of turns. But ideally, I would like him to punch Judon. Now, here's the thing. Judon's going to go outside and Illuminor is going to way overset. And then Judon's going to come back to the inside. And it has Illuminor kind of turning his back here. Although that's not necessarily bad. It's a good job for him to make up ground if he knows he's about to lose to the inside. Now, the one thing I would like to see in this play is if a guy jumps into the air, you need to hit him as hard as you can right into his stomach. And you need to punish him. And you need to put him down. Because guys should not be able to jump in the air and try to swat the ball without knowing that offensive linemen are going to smack them and make sure it hurts. Right, because you don't want these guys to think that they can just jump up without that punishment. Uh, either way, not a terrible rep. I will say I need Jermaine Illuminor to punch Matthew Judon and stop him. Right, one of the issues we saw with Alex Heatherwood, and I think the announcers even pointed it out last night, was that he was basically getting rolled back into the quarterback. He was way too, uh, he was setting too far back in terms of depth. And again, with the Luminor, I want to see him punch. Now, I do understand Jermaine Luminor has played right guard. He's played left guard. He's played left tackle. He's played right tackle. The guy's been all over the place. And I will say that it is going to take him a couple of weeks to really get his footing. But I do think at this point, he is the better option over Alex Leatherwood. 
I know some people are calling for Leatherwood to get cut, released, traded, whatever, uh, which I don't think is going to happen. I think between the cap situation, uh, plus a couple other things, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, either way, an okay rep. Let's get into the next one. Jumping forward into this next rep, Illuminor does a pretty solid job once again against Matthew Judon. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing spectacular, but he does a good job, right? And all we can ask for from our right tackle is to just do a good job. Just make sure the quarterback doesn't get pressured. He does a nice job locking in. He gets that left hand on the right shoulder of Matthew Judon. And I'm okay with that. I think that is one of the ways to win. Uh, he's not holding in this play. Judon and, and this defensive tackle are going to try to run this uh, late defensive line game. You can see 93 going into Illuminor. And Judon is trying to come back. But Illuminor does a pretty solid job with his grip right there. Either way, pretty nice job. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys. Jumping forward into this next rep. The Raiders offensive line are in a man-to-man -man situation. Uh, they're all responsible for a specific guy. Uh, number 72 against number 9. Number 9 is going to go to the inside. And Jermaine Illuminor shuts it down for the most part. Of course, the Patriots are trying to have number 46 come on a blitz. Uh, it's a defensive tackle, linebacker, stunt. Illuminor does a good job initially stopping his guy. And, you know, what, what more can you ask for now? Of course, the quarterback should have thrown it. He doesn't. And then Judon does get a little bit of pressure at the end. I would say that that's a winning rep by Illuminor. And do understand this, right? Uh, Jermaine Illuminor, or, or offensive lineman in general, you're going to have 50 snaps and 47 of them are going to be are going to be winning by the offense line because it's really just drawn up for this play to be a quick throw. I, I think the quarterback should have probably thrown it to this guy as soon as this guy makes his in break. Either way, not a big deal. Um, pretty pretty much Illuminor does his job on this play, right? Nothing crazy, nothing terrible. Uh, there are some plays in which Illuminor like does a really good job and obviously we'll, we'll point those out as those plays kind of come and of course we will always point out losing plays i think that's a big part of the film breakdown portion you know you can't be biased in my opinion and of course that is something i try not to do uh this play is kind of interesting I, I want you guys to watch something that you may not notice uh watch Illuminor's right foot relative to his left foot and then watch the quarterback the quarterback's gonna make an audible right here uh, the quarterback right now is making an audible uh, and then watch the Luminor shift that right foot um, right there. You, you guys see how he shifted that foot? Uh, he kind of got down into a, a different stance. The reason why is because the quarterback just changed the play. Uh, maybe a Luminor felt that, hey, I'm going to pull to the right because, again, maybe the quarterback flipped the play. That's what that could have potentially meant. Uh, maybe this is the footwork he wants to be in to potentially pull to the right. And then the quarterback is going to make that switch and now he doesn't have a block folding to the right. Instead, now he has a backside block on Christian Barmore. And he does a good job sealing him off. But it is something I wanted to quickly point out because I don't think people realize that as offensive linemen, you may be in one stance. And if the play changes, you're going to readjust that stance because you're a little bit more comfortable pulling or trapping or backside blocking with different footwork, right? Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, Jackson Barton doesn't even move like his footwork stays the exact same um, but do keep in mind Illuminor has basically played right guard left tackle so his footwork probably isn't as consistent yet uh, I did a film breakdown on the San Francisco 49ers right guard Spencer Burford who's a rookie and he does the same thing when he's gonna pull he's like two yards into the backfield it's very clear uh, that video is posted to my second channel you guys can see that play if you guys are interested and we kind of point that out uh, but this play is interesting i do think that you know number 19 is going to block down 78 is going to pull i do think that the raiders bringing 85 here uh, on this play would have meant that 85 was going to block down and illuminor was going to pull and of course the quarterback switches it says we're going to basically do this play the opposite way and we've seen the quarterback make these changes a couple of times either way really nice block by the entire offensive line Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. One of the things I've noted in the past with the Luminor is he's very quick out of his stance. He's super explosive, super fast, and he does a really nice job timing the snap count. Now, when I watched this play, I actually watched it twice. I had to rewind it. Uh, he does jump the snap in terms of the ball hasn't moved and Luminor's way out of his stance. Here's the thing, right? Uh, the play doesn't begin when the football moves. The play begins when the quarterback says, huh, or 
you know, hike or whatever the quarterback says. And the Luminor is listening to the quarterback. So Luminor is jumping when the quarterback says hike, right? And the ball is just being snapped late. In my opinion, Dylan Parham has to do a better job in this play. Um, you could have said that the referees could have blown this, but I, I would say no, because I think the referees also listen to the quarterback. They don't necessarily look for the ball. Um, but this is a great job by Illuminor. I mean, look at this. The guy's out of his stance. He's flying. He's getting vertical. How do you beat someone that's so fast off the ball, like as a speed rusher, as a guy who wants to get upfield? That's a great job right there. All right, you guys, for the first time between the right tackle and right guard, we have a defensive line game. So the defensive end is going to slant to the inside. The defensive tackle is going to come back around. And I think Lester Cotton and Jermaine Illuminor do a pretty decent job. Lester really makes sure his hands are on Judon and Judon's fully passed off before he comes back and takes that defensive tackle. Now, I will say the one thing with this play is the quarterback has to roll out and he does get pressured. And maybe they give up too much ground, but also based off the quarterback's footwork, you guys see he takes one, two, three. He's taking three steps, which means his ball needs to be out. Um, this ball has to be a quick throw right now. You got to get the ball out. Of course, he feels the pressure and he wants to get out, climb the pocket, get out to his right. Maybe Cotton does a little bit better job on Judon. I will say that Illuminor does a good job initially passing off the guy. Cotton has to be able to stop him now, right? Because this block is much harder for the right tackle because the right tackle is the guy that has to pass off and come back and pick that second guy up. Nice job there okay job here cotton does have to do a better job in my opinion with his hands and making sure judon is not able to uh, disengage uh the quarterback's not going to outrun uh matthew judon he's one of the best pass rushers in the league either way uh, i wanted to point this play out because it's the first time we saw a defensive line game in a true pass set and the guy swap keep in mind teams are going to do this like 10 times a game and we'll see it happen five times against the right side and five times against the left side it's a pretty nice job, but I do think they need to get a little bit better at it. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys, with that being said, uh, that was the final play of Jermaine Illuminor. And for the most part, the starting offensive guys, they came out at this point, and now you got the backup guys in. I want to know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about Jermaine Illuminor? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I am like 99.9% .9 sure he is the starting right tackle for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I'm actually okay with it. I think he's shown a lot of flashes. But I want to know what you guys think, man. Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.